now that we have the drivetrain in place, we need to do to add the uh, servo motor and the front block. So here's the servo motor. Now the servo motor uh, consists of this cam that took a few prints. These are the cams. This is the original, and this is the. Uh, that's not quite the final. I had to, to shim off uh, two millimeters there. The servo motor replaces the steering wheel, and so we had to replace the cam. So we have this 3D printed part, which is also available. And then we have a bracket for adapting a servo motor to Lego bricks. And the servo motor took a few few different prints. I started off with with this one, thought I'd hold the the servo up top. That worked out actually surprisingly well, but it took a little bit more on the sides and I couldn't hold it down. So then I went to that to test out where the holes would be and then I started putting the holes and adjusting a couple fine tune adjustments and tweaking some other settings at the appropriate angle for what that, that's at. So this was printed facing this way and there's some cap there's places for captive nuts in here. So one of the design decisions here was to try and make this is easy not only easy to assemble but inexpensive. Parts that, that you can you can purchase yourself. I really hope that people make these. These are standard M3 bolts with a nut and uh, they're 8 mil length I believe. But I will have a full parts list at each stage of the car. Now these aren't full um, bricks. There's not enough space there, so they they have these these little nub bricks um, that go into these, and we're simply doing a pressure fit with those. It's still plenty strong. I mean, it's one of the things I have to test, do a lot more testing, but it's it's working out pretty good. Um, lastly, we're going to put the front on this. I'll go into details about how these individual, let's call them modules, are put together. But right now, let's just attach that. And there we are, we have the DC brushless motor, the ESC that controls it, and the servo motor. This is the entire drivetrain to make this car go. The frame, oops, the frame is all assembled and the rest of it goes on from there. Stay tuned for the next part in this series where we add the Raspberry Pi and the camera.